It's spring, bitch! Welcome back! Um, we are actually basically going to be taking on the Pokemon League today, which is fucking crazy. Um, what I am going to do real quick though, and I'll probably fast forward through it because it's probably going to be about 5 to 10 minutes of fucking about, is I'm going to sort my movesets out and I'm going to go buy some ethers and stuff. Just do a few bits and pieces, basically. Um, obviously I'll leave it in the video fast forwarded it if you really want to comb through it but I'll give a recap once I'm done all right okay cool see you in a second okay there we go so I just had a really cool thing. It took me 15 minutes to get everything sorted, and I'll just give you a quick rundown of what I sorted for the team. But I just want to also add that I finished what I was doing. I went to make myself a quick cup of tea because I knew that I'd be cutting the end of that segment out anyway. Um, when I got back, my controller had decided it was going to be player two, and I had to restart my entire computer in order to make it be player one again. So that was super fucking cool. Um, but anyway, <laughs> um, this is what the team looks like now. I'm leading with Deacon, I think, just because he's a steel type, so he's super defensive. Um, and is generally going to be an all-round sort of pretty average answer into everything. Um, his move set has, set has stayed exactly the same. I might change the Bright Powder, I might not. I don't know, I'll have to think on that one. Um, he also has slightly higher speed now. I spent the rest of my money on five more Hyper Potions and a load of Carbos to bump Deacon's speed up a little bit, just to try and make him slightly more competitive on that front. Um, the anti Joe now has Fiery Dance instead of Surf, just to allow him to boost himself a little bit. Um, he's obviously got pretty good... She's obviously got pretty good survivability due to Attract and Leftovers and General Tankiness, so I figured carrying Fiery Dance to boost Special Attack could be a pretty smart option there. Um, Herman swaps strength for Jewel Chop, pretty straightforward uh, decision that I think just allows him to uh, hit dragons better and wasn't really using strength for anything. Uh, Lavender, this was a possibly a controversial one, I dropped, um, shit what was that move called? Grass Pledge for Sleep Powder. He no longer has a stab grass move. Um, I figured this will make Lavender a more useful answer into everything. Uh, being able to come in and Sleep Powder on Leech Seed has proved so strong throughout the game and you could argue that maybe Sleep Powder over Synthesis would have been the better pick than dropping Grass Pledge, but I honestly think Synthesis gives him way more survivability and will just allow him to potentially even counteract um, things that are super effective against him, so I think that was a smart option. Meanwhile, SBO dropped Agility for Leaf Blade, so we do still have a strong Grass Stab move. Um, that's about it on that front. and. Prodigy over here dropped Retaliate for U-Turn, which might seem a bit odd, but uh, with Prodigy's attack being so shit, um, Retaliate was probably never going to out-damage Surf anyway, so I figured U-Turn would be a more sensible option as it gives me a way of damaging and switching out. So that's what my team is currently up about. And uh, now I guess we just have to do with the thing, huh? The Pokemon League is a place where you both pursue strength and express it. The way to express it is simple. You just have to beat the Elite Four and the Champion. You can start your challenge by battling any of the Elite Four, and if you defeat them all, you can challenge the Champion. However, I warn you, once you start your challenge, there's no turning back. You must keep battling until you defeat them all, or are defeated yourself. You want to go in? Yes. Then proceed. What if I just, what if I just leave instead? What if I just... <laughs> no, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. Words are engraved on the statue. Four great warriors form this Pokemon League. To the southwest is Ghost. Okay, this is not helpful because they're not actually those. They're not actually those things at all that they say they are. Um, might as well just go left to right then, I guess. This is neat. This is presumably the uh, the Ghost one, as previously mentioned. One of the reasons I'm leading with Deacon, by the way, is because I know Deacon learns Night Slash in two levels. And that'll just be a straight upgrade over Faint Attack, so, you know, that's... Uh, it seemed a sensible move to get him as much experience as possible. Eyes is brimming with Dark Flame. This man rejected everything other than himself in order to bring about one singular justice. That part, that's part of the novel I'm writing. I was inspired by the challenger who was just here, and somehow I got a little sad. 
Excuse me, you're a challenger, right? And the Elite Four's ghost type Pokemon user Sean Tal. Not Sean Tall, not Sean Tell. Sean Tal. And I shall be your opponent. Okay. Okay, Sean Tal. If you say so. Presumably not a ghost type trainer, although that would be very nice for uh, Deacon if she is. No, she's. Not sure if Glalie's Mono Ice or Ice Dark. I think it's just Mono Ice. I always think it's a Dark type just because look at it, but I think it is just Mono Ice. Either way, Gear Grind's gonna fuck it up big style, right? Unless it misses. And retaliates relatively strongly with an Ice Beam. That's something to be concerned about. Okay, Jinx. What's Jinx likely to be carrying? Um, obviously it's an Ice Psychic type, which are both types that are bad against Deacon, but I have to bear in mind this thing outspeeds me, almost certainly, since it's level 50. If it has Fire Punch or something, I could be at risk here after taking that ice beam especially I don't know if switching's the answer though like what am I gonna switch into realistically fuck it we go for it that was wake up slap it went for right which I think is a fighting move so I'm really fucking lucky that that missed <laughs> I'm insanely lucky that that missed that probably would have killed Deacon that would have been Deacon dead outright I think so right I think wake up slaps a fighting move it always seems, seems like it should be a normal move but like I think maybe we just sweep here right I go for a morning sun here because it seems like everything's out speeding uh, even with the extra speed EVs I gave Deacon but um Whatever it hits me with probably isn't going to kill unless it also has a fighting move. So Morning Sun should hopefully get me back to full. Oh, I, out I do have speed. Okay, that was a bit of a waste then. Icicle Crash, okay. That shouldn't do too much. Less than the Ice Beam did, yeah. And we just press Gear Grind some more, right? This is, this is just going to be a, a Deacon sw Sweep by the looks of it. This is actually really lucky because obviously I've got two grass types on the team I'm super weak to ice generally this could have been a fucking mess but unless this next Pokemon is something really scary I think yeah it's just another Glalie I think we just sweep here obviously it's gonna hit me with another ice beam it's gonna have the same moveset as the other one but like oh no we outspeed this one for some reason <laughs> okay oh no we, we did outspeed the first one as well didn't we we just Missed the first gear grind. Yeah, okay, yeah, fair enough. That's that then. One down. <laughs> I really thought that would be harder than that. Let me say this. Something which got skipped because text is on fast and Joe can't read that good. S sorry, first I must apologize to my Pokemon. I'm really sorry you had a bad experience here because of me. Oh, it's not your fault. This is how battles always are. Even in light of that, I'm still one of the Elite Four. Do I just... Nope. Well, if they're all that easy, <laughs> I shouldn't get cocky. I shouldn't get cocky. I'm going to use a Hyper Potion. It might not seem necessary, but, you know, better safe than sorry. I guess we just keep leading Deacon, because one more level and we get Night Slash, and that'll be real nice. Um, It's worth noting that was an Ice Trainer, which is not one of the types that we ran into against the Gym Leaders, right? So it is entirely possible that... We're not going to see any duplicate types that we saw in the gyms, which leaves us with a very limited pool of remaining gyms, right? We've not had a bug, we've not had fire. Both of those could potentially be issues for Deacon. We've not had rock, which Deacon destroys. We've not had normal. And ghost? Is that right? Uh, that feels about right. There's more than that. There's more than that. I'm, I got my maths completely wrong there. We've only done eight and there's 16 types. 
There should be another eight types that we can run into here. This guy's pretty cool. Look at him go. I say, I don't think we've narrowed it down enough that we can adequately predict, even if it does follow the pattern that we think it does. So, realistically, we're not going to be able to just sort of pick a sensible lead here. So I'm just going to lead with Deacon again and see how it goes, I think. Man, oh man, what's going on today? Challenges coming one right after another. Well, no matter. I'm Grimsley of the Elite Four, and I will fulfill my duty to be your opponent. Dark type. Normally, I would bet with a name like that. But now, what are you? Okay, another poison. So we do get duplicates, but poison is very good for me. We have a very good team against poison. I'm not swapping, I'm just sort of considering my options here. Yeah, Lavender resists, obviously. Um, Actually, we don't have that strong a team against Poison. We don't have any Psychic moves, which would be real nice to have right now. Um, but I, I don't think this, at least, hurts Deacon. So I think we're good to just keep gear grinding here. Two hit kill. That's fine. That's fine. This is a bulky boy. Oh, okay, it's not a two hit kill anymore, is it? Okay, so this guy is going to actually eat up my PP and his healing items. The Ice Trainer didn't get to use any healing items, but Elite Four members always carry at least one, maybe two strong potion. Oh, never mind, we created. <laughs> so much for that. Roselia, um, again, I don't think is carrying shit that can do anything to me. Maybe Leech Seed. If we get seeded, we switch out, obviously, but not going to preempt that. Also, apparently we two-shot it. Okay, learn Night Slash. Learn Night Slash. Yes. How does Night Slash compare to Gear Grind? Gear Grind's 100 power, 85 accuracy. Night Slash is only 70 accuracy. But it does crit more easily. And obviously it's more reliable. Might give him the scope lens. I don't think anyone's got that equipped. Try and make him a crit machine. After this fight, obviously. Okay, this could be a thing. Bug moves... Are bug moves super effective? I think bug moves are neutral, right? Because steel resists bug. Poison moves are going to do nothing. Dark moves are going to do nothing. I'm a little concerned it might be carrying Dig or something. I don't think it learns Earthquake, but it might have Dig in its moveset, which would be pretty scary, but obviously that gives me a free turn to swap if it does it. <clears throat> I think, again, we stay in here. Yeah, Bug Bite's neutral, but honestly just not hitting me that hard. This thing is a bit of a tank as well, actually. I thought... I thought this would be far more fragile than Swalot, but... Seems not. And an Amoongus. Okay. Uh, both Gear Grind and Night Slash are neutral against this, so I'm just going to try and fish for crits here, I think. Yeah, Giga Drain will do some okay damage, I think. Just because I don't have great special defense, but between Night Slash and critting like a fucking boss. Okay, two Deacon sweeps. I mean, <laughs> I really can't argue with that. I can't argue with the results. Whether or not you get to fight at full strength, whether or not luck smiles on you, none of that matters. Only results matter. And a loss is a loss. See, victory shines like a bright light, and right now, you and your Pokémon are shining brilliantly. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. We should, uh... Once again, use a Hyper Potion. And we don't have a regular Ether. Kinda want my, um... Gear Grind PP back. 
might regret using this so early, but I don't want to run out in mid-battle. I think that's going to be a real bad thing if that happens. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to fish out the scope lens real quick. I didn't actually look at items. Did I? I can't remember if I gave Prodigy something other than the Evia light, actually. I should double check that. The Bright Powder is nice, but I think critting is more important to him than dodging. Oh yeah, he's got the dragon fang for big dragon pulses. I'm still a I'm still a scared. A scared, I said. Um, I'm still afraid of um, dragons, especially now that I know that you can have duplicates. Because we already did do a dark gym, and now we've done done a uh, fucking... Yes, poison, not dark, you know what I meant. I was in a very dark mindset there, just because the guy was very clearly a dark trainer. Okay, next one. I'm just going to keep trying to sweep with, like, obviously it's a shame if the other Pokemon don't get experience for the champion fight, because we're going to need everyone to be leveled up for the champion fight in an ideal world, but if Deacon's strong enough to just sweep through everything, then I see no reason not to do that, you know? I don't know what type you normally are. Like, I would say fairy, but very clearly not fairy because fairy didn't exist at this point. Psychic, maybe? Who are you? <laughs> How impudent you are to disturb my sleep. <laughs> you appear to possess a combination of strength and kindness. Very well, make your best effort not to bore me with a yawn-inducing battle. Clear? I'm going to try and sweep you with a sweep-inducing battle if I can, but we'll see how that goes. Okay, now we have a problem. We're gonna hope, we're gonna hope that she's a dark trainer and not a fighting trainer, because if she's a fighting trainer, that's something we're really, really bad against. Uh, obvious answer here is go Lavender. Really hoping that would miss. Fuck, that did a lot more damage than they critted. Oh, fuck, why did it crit? I mean, a non-crit will still kill, right? Oh. That is the worst fucking crit in the world, man. I might get swept by the Scrafty. I might not even get to see what the rest of her team are. Anti-Jo and Deacon will both be one shot by high jump kick, I don't doubt that for a fucking second. Herman might also be, potentially. Of the other two, I think Prodigy's the tankier. This is 75, 148 versus 120, yeah. SBO is fast. Lavender isn't particularly. Fuck, I thought Lavender was faster than that. SBO's our best chance of outspeeding this thing, but I don't think it'll one-shot it. In fact, I'm damn sure he won't one-shot it. Can't believe it critted. Can't believe we got a crit. That's so fucking gross. no point swapping in if the Pokemon swapping in dies in two hits. 
I guess the big question is how fast is the Scrafty? I don't think they're super fast. I don't think they're super fast. I think Lavender might outspeed this. Like it's a gamble. Obviously it's a gamble. If I just go for synthesis, I just try and stall it until it misses a, a high jump kick. Which is very reasonable, it's like 70% accurate. Oh, thank fuck we outspeed, okay. I mean obviously if it crits again, still fucked. We no longer outspeed. That sucks. I'm gonna try and put it to sleep. It's not it's not going for high jump kick anymore. That's interesting, actually. I think high jump kick still is still doing more damage than crunch, honestly, but it clearly didn't want to risk it. Interesting AI, honestly. Uh, let's see what an ice beam does. I'm gonna try and just kill this without having to resort to leech seeding. It's not super bulky. It's just a. Oh, that did nothing. Holy fuck. As long as it doesn't get any more scumbag crits, though. He's healing this turn for sure. I'm gonna seed it. The concern here is we're running out of synthesis PP. That's why I'm seeding, trying to get some other health, health regen going. Because if this... Oh, fuck, it missed. Okay, we're dead to crit now. But I'm going to go for it anyway. Okay, okay. Dead to wake up. He heals again this turn. I go to Prodigy. I need to get the speed advantage back. There it is. U-turn will be neutral because it's a dark fighting type. Thought it would do more than that, honestly, but whatever. Um, back to Lavender, try and get the speed advantage. If nothing else, it just makes him waste the turn. Scary facing. What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Did Prodigy outspeed then? Did it know that? I want to see what... I want to see how well Prodigy takes this. Really well, actually. The defense drop obviously sucks ass, but... Good to know. Back to Lavender again. It's probably going to scary face again this turn, but... Yeah, okay. I see his game now. Why has half this video been fighting this singular Scrafty? <laughs> How did this happen? Fuck it, Ice Beam. I can't keep playing the Switch around game. I'm not winning with that. That was a depressing amount of damage to take just before it died. I was hoping to come in better than that. The Skun Tank, he's dark. He's dark, he's not fighting. That is good fucking news, actually. That's really good news, actually. Fuck this, let's get 
uh, Deacon back out. It's disgustingly good news. Gonna go for a dark move. Oh, fuck. Survive it, survive it, survive it, survive it. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, I was not expecting Flamethrower. I was not even remotely suspecting a Flamethrower out of this fucker. That caught me well off guard. Uh, the obvious swap in here is Prodigy, right? Depends what other moves he has in his arsenal, but I don't think he kills Prodigy this turn. I go for Morning Sun and get some health back. As long as this isn't a crit, which it could be because it's Night Slash, we should be good there. Let's see what Surf does to this thing. half that's kind of annoying I am playing with fire around these crits man this is night slash is gonna crit at some point it's gonna be fucking curtains I don't think it kills with a crit from this range so we can at least okay interesting wasn't expecting that actually fine with that They hung on by that much health. Oh, I'm a little bit concerned. Night slash crit into poison tick will kill here. Is it worth switching out? This is only a second Pokemon, right? I don't think we can afford it. I don't think we can afford the switch out. Go for it. Do not crit. Do not fucking crit. He got so unlucky with those night slash night slashes. One of those by right should have crit me. Obviously I'm not complaining. But holy shit. Poor dude. Okay, Hunch Crow. Interesting. Um What move do you think's coming out here? I don't think Hunch Crow has a particularly diverse move set. I think it's probably gonna be Dark Pulse, probably. Or I don't think he's got fuck like wing attacks probably his best flying move. See Deacon takes both of those hits really well, but unfortunately Deacon got fucked over by that flamethrower. I'm gonna go anti Joe here. Shame it's female, but that's fine, we can live with that. Try not to make a China joke there. <laughs> See how much Fusion Bolt does. I don't think it would. Oh, it's setting up. Fuck. Okay, this is an issue. This is a problem. I didn't expect it to have Nasty Plot. I don't know why I didn't expect that. I know it's in its moveset. Not quite a two shot, that's unfortunate. Even after a nasty plot, it doesn't kill. That swagger kind of sucks. We need to push through that in an ideal world. Ideal world, anti Joe, you hit the fusion bolt. Thank you very much. Even more ideal world, we high roll and kill it. We've had some good luck in this fight, and I feel like it's going to come back and bite me in the ass at some point. At some point, we're going to pay for being this lucky. Okay, bye shop. Uh, we can deal with this, I think. I mean, obviously, we know these things hit hard. We've got one. Um, Herman can't come in. Anti-joke. We need to get SBO in, really. I want to try and do it as safely as possible, but I... With Lavender kind of out of commission in regards to getting a sleep powder off. I mean, we know its moveset's going to be dog shit, right? Because ours is. <laughs> it's not even going to have gear grind. It's not going to have a steel move, actually, is it? It's going to be like Night Slash. 
fucking regular slash embargo and taunt or something. Theoretically, we could go to Herman. Herman should wall this fairly well, as long as it doesn't have a steel move, which I don't think it does. This might be a bit of a gamble, but just based off my own knowledge of Bishop's dog shit move pool, I think this shouldn't do too much. More than I would have liked, um, but still going to stay in and go for an X scissor. Okay, embargo. Interesting choice. And again. This is where the crit finally makes me pay. No, nope, not yet. Not yet. Okay, it's definitely dead to Fiery Dance now. SPO should outspeed it, right? SPO outspeeds Deacon. <laughs> So, realistically, we're only going to take one hit. As long as this one hit isn't a one-shot, which it almost was, we kill it with Fiery Dance. He says, overly optimistically perhaps, but it ha surely it has to die to Fiery Dance here. Thank you. Okay, cool. Okay, three down. That one was a lot tougher than the first two, I'll tell you that. You haven't faced all the members of the Elite Four yet, have you? Don't concern yourself about me. Go on ahead. Okay, a little bit more healing then. So glad I uh, stocked up on Hyper Potions. Got through quite a few of them already. Do we have uh, an antidote kicking around? We do. Before we start breaking into the full heals and stuff. Uh, anyone completely fucked on PP after that? Eh... Might just give an elixir to Lavender. We got four of them. Can afford to be generous. Okay. Now. Obviously, the biggest concern is that the fourth one is going to be a fire type. Because of how dog shit this team is against fire. Ground would also be rough. Prodigy is here allegedly to cover those bases, but I don't think Prodigy could sweep through a team. So things could get nasty, but things could have got nasty on any of the first three and okay, it got close on that last one, but so far so good. Fighting would also be a nightmare, obviously. Fighting fire ground, these are the types we really don't want to be running into here. Um, most of the types, I think we have at least some way of dealing with fairly confidently. It's worth noting that the champion is probably also going to be monotype as well, so we also still have to dodge a bullet on that one, but we'll get there. Greetings, Challenger. My name is Marshall. In order to master the art of fighting, I'm training under my mentor, Alder. My mentor sees your potential as a trainer and is taking an interest in you. It's my intention to test you, to take you to the limits of your strength. Ki. Don't know what Ki means, but I'm sure it's very cool. Let's hope you're not actually a fighting trainer, because that would suck. What you got then, bud? Okay, water or rock. Both of these are fine. Both of these are fine. Obviously, Deacon isn't perhaps the best answer into them. Although, I am going to stay in one turn and hit this thing with a gear grind. Just for kicks, I think. Just for a bit of fun. Yeah, that did nothing. <laughs> yeah, water resists steel, doesn't it? I tend to forget that. Oh, don't get the ancient power boost. Don't you fucking dare, man. What I'm going to do here... 
let's go S. Actually, no, fuck it. I was thinking I might go SBO and try and set up on this because I don't think it's going to be able to do much super threatening. Maybe I do actually. Oh, change of plan. <laughs> let's just hit it with a Mega Drain. I don't know if this will kill or not. It's four times effective. Yeah, it does. Good. I was really just looking for the health back though. Counteract that crit. Good job, Deacon. First of 50. Agrone. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I mean, it's going to hit me hard. What do I do about it? <laughs> I don't think it one-shots SPO, so I might just try and get some chip damage off here. That's what I like to see. It went for Metal Sound. Interesting, because I don't think Agron is known for its special moves. That might have been a waste of a turn on his part. I'm going to go for a second Fiery Dance. It's a bit of a gamble, because if he does have a good special move, then I could be fucked here. No, it went for Iron Tail. We're fine. We're fine. This is going to hurt, because it's an Aggron, but... Yeah, we're fine. Uh, we outspeed, right? So we just kill it. Hang on. It's forward story. <laughs> I felt that forward star coming the second I pressed Mega Drain. It's fine. Mega Drain wants to do some decent damage, I think, and get us a bit of health back. More than decent damage. Fuck, okay. Do that again. <laughs> He's wasted both his four restores on the Agron. And now we just kill it. Okay, fine. Fine, if that's how you want to be. But I'm, st I'm still just going to get you next turn, man. <laughs> okay, cool. Cool. SBO's got that special defense drop, obviously, so... Oh no, Bastiodon's not going to do shit. Bastiodon ain't going to do shit with a special defense drop. We stay in again, I think. There's the same type as Zagron, right? They both steal rock. Pressing it again. Pressing it again. Come on, another special attack boost. Come on. Come on, you can do it. not getting that boost there makes me real sad okay and now we get the fuck out of here prodigy cleans this up i should think it was a fun gamble i did not expect that ancient power to that to do that much damage this thing is all the defense in the world but i didn't think it was that offensive it's like got okay attack i think but like not anything to get excited about. I know it was a crit, but even so, like, it did like three quarters of its health. Uh, we press Morning Sun here, I think. Yeah, he wasted a turn in drawing, so that works out really well for me. Beautiful. Biggest concern, really, is that he's going to have, like, a golem or something and hit explode, but... Homestar isn't the best thing to come out when um, SBO is out of action. I think Surf is still my strongest move here, honestly. We might just be able to outnumbers this. Obviously we've got Lavender in back who can't hit super effectively but we will just stall it out quite comfortably. But I don't think we're going to need him, even after a tickle I don't think we're going to need him. In fact, what is this even doing? What, what is this Omastar game that you're playing right here? <laughs> Old tickle and defense strategies. I did way more damage than I thought it would, but whatever, man, you know? Eventually, they all go down. They all go down in the end. And that's all four.
He said he respected me, and I saw that much in that spiel of words. Now you have become the strongest trainer in this Pokemon League. The statue in the central chamber will take you to the champion's room. We, the elite four of you, know for a sworn to follow the champion's order to be neutral. So the rest is up to you. Ooh uh, Just in case I get immediately thrown into a battle here, I'm going to go ahead and heal up. I don't think any Pokemon game has ever been quite that mean, but you never know. Do we have any slightly shitter potions? We don't, do we? It's fine. We've got plenty of these left. And only one fight left. Although, maybe it's not only... So I know Getsus is the champion based on um, Googling to find out what sort of levels we're dealing with. But do we not fight N? Is N post-game? I actually don't know the answer to that. I genuinely am not sure on that one. Uh, okay. Um, you know what? We've gone a little over 40 minutes plus the time from the previous recording before everything hit the fan. Um, yeah, I think we wrap up here. Um, one way or another, this ends next time. I'll see you for that. <laughs>